Hello, this is a tutorial on setting up a registration form from inside the Schedule Meetings and Send to Invites feature. A registration allows you to know who's coming to your meeting ahead of time and collect information for, about them before the meeting. So after setting up the details of your meeting, you'll be greeted with the registration form page. You can always skip it if you want by clicking on this button right here if you don't really want a registration form. And to save yourself a little work, if you set up the same registration form ahead of time, you can just select one from this list right here. It'll have all your previous registrations. Right here, you can just go ahead and type in some text that's going to appear in the header that's up above your registration form. You'll see where it goes in the preview. And down here are some standard fields that we have set up for you. We have the address, city, all sorts of things. And you can choose whether you just want them shown, which means they're optional whether they're going to be answered, or required, which means they absolutely have to answer them. And if you don't want to select all of them individually, but you do want all of them, you can just click Select All right there and unselect them once again. Once you pick which standard fields you want, you can go along to custom fields. This can be any question that you want to ask. So after I type in my question here, I can fill in these optional answers. If I don't fill in anything, they can type whatever they want. But if I do, such as red, blue, and green, they will get a multiple choice drop down menu. They can select their answer. I can click that it's required. Remember, a required question must be answered. And click add question. Once I've done so, it appears over here in this right-hand field. Uh, anything over here, I can edit. I can delete the question if I don't really want it to appear on my registration form anymore. And if I had more than one question, I can move them up and down to kind of reorder them in the actual registration form. Here's the footer text. This is just like the header text, but down at the bottom right after all the questions. I can put a maximum of how many people I would like to be able to register. Let's go with 10. Any more than that will be refused. And I can set up password protection. If I do, then each individual attendee will be able to make their own password while registering, which will be prompted for later. I also want to be sent an email notification, so I'm going to put this here. This is just going to send me an email every time someone registers. And these settings will allow me to notify my attendees in certain intervals, again, about the meeting, just so that they remember. If I wanted to set up a PayPal, uh, PayPal uh, payment, I could do so here, but we're going to go over that in a different tutorial. And once done, I click Next. Now that I've set up the entire registration, I want to go see a preview of it. So I'm just going to skip over the survey for now so we can all take a look. And here's the preview of our registration. You see that we have the title up top. We have the time. And there's my meeting room header. All the required questions and industry, which I did not require, is right there. And what's my favorite color, which is also not required, the drop down multiple choice. Once done, I can go ahead and click finish. If I were to click Finish right now, that would send out a link to my registration form to all of my attendees, who would then be prompted to go ahead and register for the meeting. And that does it. You now know how to set up a registration form with Instant Presenter.